Here is a view of the lathe with the uh, covers off and uh, as you can see um, there was just a little bit of work involved here. The original motor stuck out away from the back of the lathe that stuck out about 10 inches and uh, that was very bad because it didn't allow you to put the lathe up against the wall and it also took at least two people to adjust the V-belts. It was a very clunky arrangement and you never could get the belts straight even if you got them tight. So what I did was get a, a 5 horsepower uh, 184 frame motor. These are pretty common. This is 1750 RPM and uh, it's a three phase motor and I'm driving it with my variable uh, frequency drive even though I'm feeding it with uh, 220 volt single phase power. Now I got a uh, one quarter by nine and a quarter by 18 inch plate and bolted it on to the lathe. As you can see the uh, uh, lathe uh, chip pan here is pretty sturdy so I was able to bolt that on there then I bolted the motor onto this uh, plate. Uh, now to get my belt tension, also uh, I retained the original pulley, but I did have to bore it out about 25 thousandths to fit the uh, inch and an eighth motor shaft, which uh, is pretty common. Uh, here's how I adjust the uh, belt tension. It's very simple. I just made a little idler. Uh, you can get these things anywhere and it doesn't take a lot of pressure just one bolt loosen that loosen that one bolt push the idler up against the belts a little bit and tighten the bolt and you're ready to go and it works very well in addition the back of the motor is now flush with the back of the chip guard which means I can push it right up against the wall and actually bolt it to the wall and gives me a very sturdy situation so I'm very happy with the installation. It, it just barely fits in there and uh, uh, works a lot better than the old one. Actually the old two, supposedly two horse motor was heavier and bigger than this here five horse three phase. So uh, it worked out pretty good for me. Now here is the electrical installation. I have uh, 220 volt four wire coming in here to uh, two hot wires, one neutral and one ground wire and I was able to uh, retain the original jog switch here, the original emergency stop switch and the original neon uh, light. I took all the old contactors out because they were kind of uh, complicated and a nightmare and uh, just uh, replace it with this uh, two pole 120 volt coil contactor and it works excellent, uh, no problems at all. And that feeds the uh, Delta Variable Frequency Drive B 5 horsepower, which I bought on eBay. Uh, which, by the way, the manual that comes with it is horrible. It's all actually 100% Chinese. You cannot read anything. So you have to go online and download a... Uh, uh, manual. It's 235 pages long, so uh, be sure you got plenty of paper in your uh, printer. And the manual is uh, all in the, the one you download's all in English, and uh, it was seems to have been written by a uh, English-speaking person. And uh, it's very thorough, although you still have to study it to figure out what they're trying to tell you. But uh, all in all, it works uh, wonderful, and I'm very happy with this setup. The variable frequency drive normally changes speeds with these up and down arrow buttons. Now, they're pretty slick, but they're somewhat cumbersome after a while. So I prefer a rotary dial. And I procured a uh, Radio Shack 50K linear potentiometer and uh, encased it in the box here. However, it had a smooth action, which I didn't want. I preferred uh, multiple dedents so I could get a tactile feel of uh, changing the speeds. So I made a uh, 72 dedent 
plate out of a piece of uh, four and a quarter inch square by eighth inch coal roll. And uh, here is the uh, rotary dedent uh, positioner and two springs and two quarter inch balls. And then it goes in this here case right here. And finally, here is the dial. Finally, here is the assembled unit which is now mounted on the uh, slider which goes on the back of my lathe uh, back splash. This slider also holds the light. I will install it now. It just slips right on and slips right off. Here is the speed control mounted on the lathe uh, along with the light which is uh, mounted on the slider. It just positions right along the back splash. Makes it very handy. Uh, for the light and for the speed control to be right at your hand. Now uh, in operation you just turn the lathe on and program the uh, parameters on the speed control to indicate the actual spindle RPM when I am in the uh, 755 gear range, which it will be most of the time. I found this to be the uh, appropriate speed. Now if I really want to get down low, I can also kick it on down to 460 or even lower and uh, practically Stop it. Can hardly count the RPMs, which uh, I normally wouldn't be doing, but uh, it makes it handy for certain things. Also, as you can see, uh, it stops real good. Instant reverse and instant forward, which is uh, great for many operations.